Hi, my name is Dan Sharp, and I'm one of ViewSonic's professional development trainers. I'm Blake Everhart, ViewSonic's training manager. Today, we're going to be going through how to manage your view boards through our program called Manager. Well, the first step that we need to do is we need to get the board powered on and connected to the internet. Once you've done that, we need to enroll the board. In order to do this, you need to find a program called Manager. So we're going to touch the down arrow and then locate the Manager app. When you open the Manager app, it's going to display two things, a six digit code as well as a QR code. There's essentially three different ways to enroll your board into your domain. One way is to scan your QR code using the My View Board Companion app on your mobile device. It's important that with the app on your device, you're signed in with the Entity Manager email. All you have to do is scan that QR code and then name the board, and it will enroll, allowing you to go to the next board and scan it. Blake will talk about the other two ways that we can enroll the board. Once you sign in to myviewboard.com and launch the Manager app, you'll notice that you have a list of devices. If this is the first time, there will be no devices listed. To the right is a plus sign to add a device. When you click the plus sign, there are a couple different ways to enroll it. The first option is to enroll via PIN, which is the code that's displayed on the viewboard. The other option is to display via serial number. That one may be a situation in which you were emailed serial numbers to your purchaser of the district. If you're looking for serial numbers, please reach out to your reseller or ViewSonic sales rep. Another way is to import a device list of all serial numbers or PIN codes for a bulk import. In this situation, we're going to use the PIN code. So we will select PIN, and we're going to type out the PIN code that displays on the board. Once we type the code in, we then will need to name it. And if we want to, we can add it to a group. In this situation, we're going to add it to our training room group, which was already created for us. Once the board has been enrolled, you'll notice a check mark and a pairing successfully signed displays on the view board. You'll also see that the view board is listed within your manager console. If I need to edit the name or see different specs in regards to the view board, all I need to do is double click it. And I can click the edit access to change names or rearrange the groups. You can also notice some device information that is labeled under the de device info. As we go back to devices, you can then choose the device and get various options. Within the options or remote control, you can adjust volume. You can power the panel on and off. You also have the ability to deny firmware upgrades or push firmware upgrades. But really, a, an essential piece is to be able to add an SSID. All you have to do here is click the plus sign to add the SSID, the name, the password, and then the type of authentication you would like to perform. Once you add it, it'll automatically push to the view board for your viewing. When it comes to using some other features of Manager, broadcasting, whether it's in a high impact or a low impact message, could be important for you. Broadcasting under Manager allows you to send a standard or low impact message, such as welcome. Once you send the message, the message displays on the view board and can be turned off from the end user, such as in a classroom or in a conference room. A high impact message is one that is controlled by the manager who pushes the message. This would be an urgent message. This could be something like uh, restrooms are closed. Once you push the message, you will notice you have the ability to add a siren. But once we click OK, it takes over the board. 
This type of message cannot be turned off from the end user and can only be turned off from the person who sent the message. So you'll need to come back into your broadcast, select the message, and click OK for the message to be turned off. Another feature that may be important is to be able to send apps to the viewboard. Once you select the viewboard in all devices, you can choose the waffle, waffle or apps and choose install. This will give you your app list. Select your app, or you can search in the search bar to find your app. Select it and click OK. You'll see the command has been sent. And when you look at the viewboard, it should now be installed on the viewboard itself. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. As you can see, Manager is a great tool for basic control over your device.